<laughs> uh, we're rolling right into it. Oh my god, yeah. Not yeah, even giving us a chance. Quick. Yeah. No button checks here. And speaking of quick, we've, speaking of quick we've got Carflow sitting in, who's always just such a fast-paced player. Oh yeah, Carflow is mad nice. And he, in a very Roy-centric way, where he wants to approach you, he wants to like make you flinch. The problem is, uh, Jen has not only played a ton against Roy, I think there was a time and place where Jen was like experimenting with the character themselves. He's experimented with plenty, mm -hmm. of course. But you, you just get to learn that while Roy is incredibly broken in so many ways and can kill you out of nowhere, there are very key positions that you can exploit, and because of Palutena's natural solidity within the uh, within her game plan, oh, you're dead. What a confirmed <laughs> by Carflow. Oh, uh, yeah. Jab side B is... It's that X factor. It's, it's further in that X factor. Like, jab... Jab back air, insane. Jab side B, you you could be dead from More close insane. to yeah, close yeah. to center stage. You're gone. Oh, but yeah, Great tel teleport cancel needs that. Needs but. that needs to keep that movement alive because while Palutena can be fast, Roy moves like a wrecking ball and oh treats you like it. Oh my god, <laughs> you got down tilted at forty and died. Yeah, that's, that's fine. He needs it. He needs it. I'm I mean, tired. I'm tired of the Roy slander. <laughs> this character's broken. <laughs> oh, but there's finally a neutral air killing, and if that's going to be one thing that Jen needs, it's not. It won't. De Jen doesn't need. It's killing with neutral air because mm -hmm. you you don't want to be forced to in a position where you're just building up percent infinitely. That means you're playing a lot of neutral. While Palutena's neutral is good, Carflow's going to get more off of each interaction more than more likely than not. So you yeah. gotta make your interactions count, and you can't be teleporting when Carflow's just holding center, being a good player, playing and patient again. twice, almost. Will we see the third? Teleport to ledge? Don't do it. Not again. Okay. <laughs> Not again. He didn't again, at but this he point, didn't die. At this point, it's a game. <laughs> Surely they won't expect the fourth time. Yeah. How many times are you gonna cover this? <laughs> Come on, man. The no mix up, mix up. All right, 150 T though. Carflow just needs. To Couple uh, neutral air at ledge and you what a oh, parry! Very nice. Gets the double parry, flashes shield twice. Oh, trying to extend the explosive flame, holding steady in the center stage. Comeback is doable. Roy is exploitable, and that's no double jump, but not in a position to go out there. Ooh, great Sheesh. counter, putting Carflow back off stage. Damn. Looking for the back air and frame traps into the second one. Yeah. All right, uh, winnable. Up throws not killing uh, until maybe now. Oh, this is a solid, could have been a solid combo, could have been the second neutral, but he wanted to pivot into up airs, trying to compensate for rage. Teleport to stage, no, he's, he's just poking with the forward airs, then teleports high. Jen trying to maintain this, oh my god, the sour spots, no, does this up throw kill? Yes, yes yep. it does, even That's with good deal. Jeez, that, I mean, it's the, it's the good and the bad with Roy, because the reason that his, quote unquote, the reason his sour, his sweet spots are so ridiculous is because his sour spots, that happens. Right. It doesn't matter that that sour spot was, could have an, if a lower percent true comboed into a sweet spot, we don't talk about that <laughs> one. <laughs> Roy mains don't talk about that. <laughs> No, this, this is kind of just a staple matchup because that can... A staple matchup in terms of characters and um, characters that players enjoy picking up and just kind of work in a lot of ways. But seeing them counterplay each other oftentimes comes down to these niche scramble situations, especially if Carflow is going to be trying to find uh, edge guards like that and get huge, hugely punished for it. The Palutena 50 and climbing. Yep, sort of the same way that we saw game one start with Jen just getting a great extension. No punish there on the side B. Let's see if uh, Jen is able to make game two look a little bit different, uh, potentially looking for a stock, and is able to find it. Yeah, down throw back there. Normally, I mean, that's not a true combo if you hold out, but Carfo must have been holding in, expecting maybe like a forward throw or just some sort of mix-up. But hey, that no mix-up mm -hmm. mix-up comes yep. in clutch. Again, look, Jen hunting around these platforms, but Carflow trying to stay low to the ground, trying to keep advantage of what makes Roy crazy, which is just these short hop aerials are all over the place. A double? Can we see the third? Okay, I'll see. Jen tried. We never see the third. <laughs> I appreciate the effort. Oh, just barely missed space for the roll, and a whiff grab is going to be getting Carflow stock one for Jen. Uh -oh. Oh, that down tilt would have been huge. Forced Carflow into a terrible position with that auto reticle. 
but now with back on stage, quick 41. I like that Carflow, despite how fast paced he plays, he almost always starts out a lot of scrambles with a dash back. He's mm -hmm. trying to build that speed and get it going across the full stage rather than just and always rather than forcing things that aren't there or at the very least trying to build ahead of steam when going forward. Gotta right. be careful with these rolls though. Jen is starting to scout out some of this ledge play. And start out scout out with these aggr aggressive plays. Palutena back air just so good at stuffing your opponent because you can't do anything about it. Oh, what a big explosive flame. Goodbye. And Roy Roy makes it known when he's when he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Man's got some pipes. Back Whoa. throw. I love Roy and Prom and Mark. All their back throws are so good for setup, but oftentimes you're trying to catch your opponent panicking, and if Jen doesn't do it, then he's rewarded with an easy get back on stage. Let me take you to the other side with 70, and let me lock down this ledge all the way to 80. I do really like the idea of the F smash coming out from Jen, potentially looking for like a win box. Alright, we throw car float in the driver's seat right now. Jen went for the same teleport cancel mix up, which uh, got him punished last time, but that time uh, only uh, just getting into the up smash. Yeah, they're playing a mini game with that teleport. Mm -hmm. uh, teleport back to center. Is it high? Is it low? Straight on, etc. All the different angles. Still, this is a this is a car float game. If he gets to uh, around like. I want to say around 60 or so, this can be jab side B percent. We saw how potent that can be. And give him a 130 rage. This is looking oddly familiar for us. <laughs> Very scary by Jen right there to tech roll uh, to the ledge, something that is just always scary against Roy, especially Carflow with uh -oh. rage. Oh, only going for the forward throw there. A little surprised we didn't see anything bigger coming out from Carflow. Not trying to risk the too hard of a punish. Can't be too sure how he's going to play this. And Jen has done a good job of mixing in quite a bevy of options in this game. Carflow is keeping safe, but that forward tilt won't do it. Explosive flame to force the high, but the neutral air doesn't cover low. And Carflow gets a chance to lead trap that parry on the back air, puts in neutral, and the dash oh. attack is the neutral breaker, as well as a stock taker. That is no relation to <laughs> going into game three here. And I, this is winner's semis, correct? The, uh, winner's quarters, wow. actually. Wow. But yeah, no, that dash attack caught Carflow holding in. We did see Carflow coming in with the neutral air, which means he was holding towards which means he's exploding upward. Yes, absolutely. That was such a good drift there by Carflow. Even when you're helpless, you're not totally helpful, nope. helpless. Hashtag strategery. <laughs> yep, yep, we're brand, that, that's like a 2017 meme. I wanna die. <laughs> Smash was the pick though, and yeah, okay, Fire Emblem Classic, right? You're, if you have a sword, you're trying to consume so much space, and well, in the case of Roy, consuming space isn't the game plan, but uh, rather the explosive blast zones are naturally going to make Roy so, so good on this stage, especially if you got any sweet spots there. Not, not the best of opportunity. Oh, not, uh, no. Not the best of start for Carflow. Like his combo only netted 36, and he loses an S, he drops an SD thanks to a mistimed air dodge. Misplaced air dodge, rather. But we're seeing Carflow, you know, down but not out. These, you know, these hits just keep coming. Only 1.7 on Carflow right now, but neutral air. That's going to be a pretty meaningful starter there for Jen. That was an up air. He did the, he did the arguably the hard part, like setting up for the platform, getting that raw nair, but missed the follow up afterwards. Could have left a lot of damage on the table and. Inevitably, with the reset to neutral, falls down to Carflow's pivot cancel forward tilt. Taking advantage, great fastball from Carflow to get away from the auto reticle. Jen using that big invincible dash attack, saying, you know, I know you want to faint your movement as much, but as soon as you start committing to holding forward, there's this big invincible hitbox waiting for you. Everything starts with Nair for Carflow both literally in the case that it's a massive combo, but also much of the neutral game as, Ooh. wow, what a pivot grab. Uh, catching Carflow mixing in that, mixing up his approach with a, a dash grab instead of a neutral air as we see where neutral air can lead into a forward air. 
Carfo's got to almost calm down how much he's uh, how much he's using one option over another. These some of these rising aerials have been stuffed out by dash attack pretty consistently. Mixing in some upbees though in these scrambles, get that armor, get the chance to bring this back. 107 is certainly kill percent. But this down throw is going to set up on the wow! What an air dodge, holding up and air dodging in order to avoid the tech scenario that you know Jen was looking for. Mm -hmm. Right, threatening it on the platform, Jen, with an up air of his own. Uh oh. Oh, this, this could be it for Carfu. That's yeah, it. This, yeah. this, this is a, this you're is dead. a dead <laughs> This is shooting fish in a barrel with a air dodge. Just an air dodge that far away, fast forward like Roy is. All Palatine mm -hmm. needs to do is lather, rinse, and repeat as we get one back air into the second. And uh, completely unneeded, but damn, does it feel good. Yeah. Sometimes you just gotta get that little dopamine hit. It's like, hmm. Especially with the sound design of power tinted back air. As, bro right. as broken as the shield moves are, man, they hit good. <laughs> yeah, especially when you get that spark screen. Ooh. That feels nice. Solid set. Miss, I, uh, I guess I didn't, I didn't miss game one. That set was just really fast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Still, clean stuff overall. Um, Jen coming off of a, a win last week, of course. Mm -hmm. So trying to make make the repeat happen and get some money matches on the way while they do.